to a new restaurant actually in England. Uh, yes, Kaufman's. Yeah? That's awesome. good. Yeah, that's very good. Um, I went there and then... Um, you don't have to say that, you know, because we've worked for it. No, 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 it was a nice I mean, to be honest, my, one of my favourite restaurants I've been to is Peach and Nurseries. In Richmond? Yes. Just location on the food. I mean, the food is good. She's a very good, very good cook. No, I mean, generally, generally keeping busy and keeping out of trouble and, um, you know, just, um, have some new menu changes coming on soon, all across the board, so here and there and obviously Somerset House. At Somerset House, we're, um, you know, it is a big operation because we've got Terrace, we've got the deli, we've got the restaurant, and then we're going to start doing events as well. And events are, you know, anything between 40 to 500. So, so who manages the events? Well, at the minute they do, um, but we're going to be, um, you know, going to be doing them as well. So, um, so it's a big operation. But as I was sitting there, I was going to ask you about Tom's Terrace, and I was on the internet, and I found out you're buying the all the restaurants in London. No comment. No comment. That's what I just said, wasn't it? What? Well, big taxi got it wrong. Probably, yeah. Don't know anything about it. Any, any future plans? <laughs> don't know anything about it, Tom. Really? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't edit it all, I don't know. <laughs> it's all made up. Is it? Propaganda. Yeah. So how's Tom so okay? Yeah, no, it's good. It's, it's busy, yeah. It's yeah. busy. It's busy as here? Uh, busier. Yeah? Yeah. No, oh, because of the location, I mean, um, you know, right on the Thames and nice terrace, nice location, music, nice bar, so, yeah, it's def exactly. def definitely busy. Yeah. So, um, no, but it's good though, I mean, it's, you know, it's a good place. Um, good I hope so. Do you, do you ever go down there and you obviously you pick? Oh, no, I was there last night. Yeah? Yeah, you know, I'll go be going there on Monday again. So I go at least two three times a week. Yeah. And then we do um, do a lot of cross training so a lot of my guys go from here, go over go over to um, go over to Somerset House. Funnily enough, I mean it's been quite difficult for Somerset House. Which I don't know why because we're offering, you know, good money and three days off. So I'm a bit perplexed. Um, and in terms of working around a brand new kitchen, um, and it's yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle actually. Whereas over there, I've got you know, I've got a very good team. I say I've probably got a, probably the goodest team is when I first opened. I think really. Um, the kitchen itself, sort of the hot section, is you know, is pretty small. Um, the layout of it is you know, is, is pretty good. Um, and then there's an upstairs pastry kitchen where they do all their mise en place, which is nice. Um, so the deli, we do um, a breakfast offering. So we do you know, cookies and pastries and biscuits and muffins, mm. croissant, pain au chocolat, um, granola and muesli and everything. And then that changes over to the deli at about 11.30. So we do about seven different sandwiches. We do um, different flavours. Quiches and, and things like that. So it's good, it's very nice. Where do you find time to run the swim cycle? Um, just cram it in. Where? <laughs> There's only a certain number of hours in the day. There is only a certain number, so I work most of them. I mean, I do. I, you know, I, I slept four hours last night. I was up until three o'clock. Is that hours? Mm. Up to three, do you? Well, I was just catching up, doing emails, doing you know, things today that I had to do. Recipes, so recipes for some PR things. I mean, the fitness thing I have to do because it's you know if I don't keep the fitness up, I think you know I would I wouldn't be able to do the hours that I do. I don't think, but I choose to do it in the afternoon, so I get a bit of a you know a pick me up. I cannot do it in the morning, exercise in the morning, just no way. Um, I cycle to work. I cycle to work, yeah, but it's only a five minute you know five minute schlep. Is that where I should live? Bassy. Bassy. Um, and then on the weekend, yeah, I mean, I will, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not running or doing any exercise really that much because I have my knee operated on um, 
six weeks ago. So um, probably in a couple of weeks I'll be you know, slowly getting back into it. But yeah, then I'll go and you know do um, you know a couple of hours running or three hours running, depending how I feel. But it's only three hours on a weekend. Yeah. So uh, forty-eight hours is not you know it's only a little bit, isn't it? I'm going to be starting um, starting my own blog as well fairly soon. It's the next year's food blog. Oh, okay. I'm just going to do it. Well, it's going to be more than food blog. I'm just going to be doing lots of different things in there. Um, so, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, so, Twitter and Facebook. How many are there, Alex? Well, I do, I do Twitter and Facebook. Okay. Um, and then on Facebook, we have. I have my own Facebook page, and then we do. Tom's Kitchen, and then we do um, the uh, Seven Hour Lamb Fan Club as well. It's all good though, it all works. How are you at swimming? I don't know. What I think I'm right. When was the last time you swimming? I swim every yeah. summer. Every summer, okay, so when was the last time you swimming? Uh, no, I don't know. I um, probably swam a few months ago, two months ago. What, a couple of laps or? No, I haven't done any distance, no. I haven't done any distance. So, but in a year's time, the plan is going to be Yeah. Obviously, you're quite, you're obviously quite fit in those cycling. Well, I mean, yeah, but this one, I mean, I, I started running at the end of October. Right. When I did marathon, so I started running at the end of October. But you've done previous... I only not run three miles before the tops. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your feet recovered? Just. <laughs> You saw them, yeah? Pictures. Sort of Facebook pictures. Yeah, disgusting, aren't they? Yeah. Horrific. Change Hospitality, they're one of the best recruitment companies in London, if not the UK. We use them regularly. They've always found us very, very good staff, and I will carry on using them as they always find the best chefs for my kitchens.